Hi, and welcome to another CUBE Conversation. I'm Peter Burris from our outstanding studio in Palo Alto, California. And today we're talking security, which is a specially important topic in today's digital business driven world. Uh, and specifically we've got Slavik Markovic, who's the CEO and founder of Denisto. Welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for having me here. So Slavik, there's so many directions we could take a conversation mm. about security these days, but let's just start with a relatively simple one. Security operations is becoming increasingly important, but remains especially complex. How is the problem manifesting itself in business today? Yeah, so uh, I would summarize it really simply as having too many with too few. There's just too many alerts, too many security tools, very fragmented landscape, and there's not enough analysts to handle all the security events that are coming up. And so this is a huge problem in the sense that security is hurt by, by that. You have a lot of uh, events that are just left on the table unhandled. And so uh, that's what we're kind of trying to solve is helping the, uh, the analysts basically have a much better uh, life and process uh, and, and, and handling those uh, kind of uh, issues uh, much more efficiently. So if you go inside, if you go into a security operations center, a SOC, uh, you rarely encounter a party. Yeah, uh, the more they're not happy. Scenario, yeah, the more likely scenario is you see some people who are highly stressed and largely unhappy and counting the hours until they can retire. Mm -hmm. How, and partly that's a function of the fact that we got all these tools and we got all these, uh, uh, these, these, uh, these higher increasing risks as more folks attack, but there's also some uncertainties associated with actually how processes work. Mm -hmm. So to what degree uh, can a can a solution like uh, uh, Demisto bring some clarity to how security processes should mm -hmm. operate within a SOC? Yeah, it's a great question. So uh, as you said, when you go and visit those uh, analysts, they're very unhappy. Uh, they're unhappy because people have this concept of when you go into security, you're going to deal with the sophisticated stuff. You're going to deal with finding that, you know, nation state attacker and this malicious, super persistent hardware, uh, uh, malware and, and so on. Oh, you're the top of the you're, 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 you're going to be the hero. Yes, you're going to be the hero. And that's a very interesting uh, perception, but uh, the, the end result is that most of your day is uh, uh, being, uh, you know, uh, handling the basic, uh, you know, failed logins and VPN alerts and change password requests and phishing attempts, things that are very mundane. High uh, risk drudgery. Yes, high, ri high risk drudgery, that's perfect. And, and so uh, those analysts just hate this process and they spend so much time on it and this is why you see this turnover of uh, analysts that don't last over like 18 months or, or 20 months in, in a job because they're dealing with all this uh, mundane stuff. And even when you're dealing with the more interesting stuff, uh, that's, uh, as you said, there's no consistent process of how to handle it. And there might be like a document somewhere on your wiki or SharePoint that specifies what you should do, but there's no way to actually quality assure that and make sure that what they're doing is indeed matching the process. And so, yeah, the analysts are, uh, are you know, getting bogged down by those mundane alerts, don't have time to look at the interesting stuff. And, and when they do have time, it's, it's very hard to follow the process. And what we at Demisto uh, are doing and trying to fix that problem is that we're trying to solve it by having a single platform handling all of the life of the SOC, meaning handling all the knowledge management, all the processes, and the people assigning and all of that. And so what we're doing is having a full kind of uh, case management for incidents, including all the metrics and all the SLAs and assignments and you know evidence tracking and cryptographically signing them and, 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 and so on. But beyond that, we allow you to specify a consistent process like you do in a Visio chart. So you basically just drag and drop all the steps and we then allow you to take those steps and replace them with automations because we have integrations with hundreds of security tools 
And those hundreds of security tools provide thousands of actions that you can do across those security tools. And so when you have a step that says, you know, check the prevalence of this file or detonate this in a sandbox or do uh, any of those, you can actually replace that manual step with an automation and save the analyst the time of actually going ahead and doing that. And so not only we're bringing consistency to the process, but we're also bringing a lot of efficiencies because you can just replace those manual tasks. And then a lot of the kind of simple mundane incidents, you can just, you know, take away from the analyst completely. So we can focus on the really important stuff. And then beyond that, what we're offering is when you have to, you know, get off the predefined process. And so, you know, we're dealing with the, uh, smart adversaries. Some mm -hmm. of them are, uh, are are super smart. It's not <laughs> not, not in, uh, all incidents. Some of them are the smartest. The smartest. A lot yeah. of money to be made in Exa messing exactly. other companies up these days. Exactly. And not no, not all incidents are cookie cutter. And so when you have to get off the pre uh, predefined process, we allow uh, uh, the analysts actually to collaborate with other analysts, invite them to our virtual war room and then also talk with our bot and do interactive stuff beyond the predefined. So you can go to our D-bot and say, hey, dear D-bot, retrieve this file from this endpoint, detonate it in this sandbox, bring me the result. Oh, it's malicious, then isolate the endpoint and block this IP. And you can do all of that in one single place without going to 10 different tools to, to and then copy pasting it into your case uh, management system. But so let me, let me make sure I got, I got the summary because you, let me, you said a lot there. Yeah. So, Trend, a lot more users, whether they're actually human beings or devices, uh, much greater surface area from an attack standpoint. Definitely. So a lot more events are being generated. Mm -hmm. Those events can now be uh, uh, trapped by an existing tool set that, again, corresponds to that degree of specialization. And then when they generate alert, you have a low code approach to being able to, through APIs, capture that information, simply describe automations, mm -hmm and then have the shop follow the processes and conventions and routines associated with the automations that they design. Have I got that right? Exactly, and so it's not like we're saying we're going to replace your analysts with automation. That's usually not the case, but we do allow you to uh, basically apply a process, a consistent process that has automations to make their analysts work much more efficient. And so, as you said, an incident comes in from, and it can be from various sources, it can be from a high fidelity security tool, or from your SIM, or from your mailbox, somebody reporting abuse or something like that. We take that incident, automatically apply the process, run all the automations, and then allow the analyst to make the important decisions. So the analyst sees the data and then decides, oh, you know what, this is malicious, and then we can do the response. Or it's not malicious, and then we can close the ticket and, and so on. But uh, we're not replacing the analyst, we're just elevating his level. A lot of these, are, uh, a lot of these integrations out of the box? Yeah, we have over 200 integrations out of the box with your, uh, I would say, your, uh, usual security tools, IT tools, you know, Active Directory, and your endpoint, sure. and your network, and, and so on and so forth. And the yeah. second related question is, obviously one of the biggest challenges that you face with any of these uh, very powerful tools is that they can take a long time to configure, set up, and then roll out. Uh, time to value associated yeah. with uh, Demisto, what is it? So, uh, just the installation and configuration of the integrations, it's a matter of an hour and you're, you're up and running. But then when you take a use case and build a playbook and automation for that, this is usually takes a day. So per use case, you know, it takes, it takes time to adjust it to the process of the enterprise. And so out of the box, we come with about 50 uh, playbooks, but then an enterprise will take those playbooks and adjust them to their own processes. Oh, that's great. So yeah. uh, you've been around since 2015, first shipped uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you on the maturity? So uh, we've uh, been growing like crazy in, in a sense. Uh, we are uh, now releasing our uh, fourth uh, version of the product. Uh, 4.0 is coming to Black Hat. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, we uh, have uh, hundreds of customers, uh, about over 100 uh, employees, uh, and been growing and hiring, uh, you know, aggressively. <laughs> so, if you think about what the next two years is going to be, higher risk, more devices, yeah. uh, more work to do, but tooling like uh, Demisto is going to be able to 
uh, better manage a lot of that and facilitate collaboration amongst the team. For example, I believe you have uh, some pretty decent Slack integration directly in the yeah, tool. Yeah, that, that's true. So yeah. this becomes a way that you can actually, it's, it's a tool for running your SOC. Exactly, it's a tool to run your SOC, but when we kind of uh, move, uh, look, look uh, ahead of, of that, what we really focus on, what I'm excited about, is the capability to enhance or uh, add more efficiencies to the process by using machine learning and then trying to learn from the organization and feed that knowledge back into the organization. So if we see analysts interact with our bot and asking for certain actions for certain types of incidents with certain indicators, we can learn from that and then a new incident comes in, we can then recommend it and say, hey, you know what, what we've seen in previous incidents this is what worked, this is a sequence of actions that worked, and we can feed that back into, into the analyst. And we can actually feed that back into building the playbooks and reaching them uh, even more. So I think we can actually use machine learning uh, across the entire kind of platform, and even take it outside of the SOC and into other use cases. So uh, we already integrate with uh, AWS, so we can actually help you with all the cloud security. Mm -hmm. If you detect something, we can take a snapshot, we can change well, IAM. You, you mean end to end? End to end. So they're, they're going to do fine with their own security, but you mean end to end. Of so course. Like you're incorporating them into your Process. security chain. Yeah, so we, uh, we view ourselves as kind of the, the brain of the process, right? So okay. we want to uh, help you define what should happen, and we'll actually invoke and execute that across your security tools. So part of it can be on AWS, part, part of it can be with your compliance team or with your uh, you know, vulnerability assessment team or app security team, kind of expand even beyond the traditional use cases of the SOC into anything, in fact, in security that has a process tied to it. Slavic, thanks very much for being on theCUBE and talking about security, an incredibly important topic that requires a lot more conversation but even more doing. All right, thanks for having me. <laughs> so once again, Slavik Markovic is the CEO and founder of Demisto, and you've been watching another CUBE Conversation. Until next time.